a tiger was being imported to Dublin Zoo. It really struck me that everything that came into Ireland came through the port. And, and things that you completely take for granted. Uh, so when we saw the kind of cargoes that they were handling, you know, it was every raw material you could think of, completely exotic products from all around the world. But the dock workers were probably one of the best informed sections of the entire population about global trade and global economy and, you know, what global production. That they they knew all this stuff, you know, and they would hear the stories and they'd see the products and they were very well informed, I would say, much better informed for the times than most Irish people. Something for which they were not given any credit at all. But if they were handling livestock, because Ireland exported a lot of cattle and sheep and stuff, they would be paid more for handling livestock. So when this tiger in its cage was being taken off the ship, the lads decided, hold on a second, this is livestock. We asked for more money for handling this one, like, no. And so one of the guys went up to the head office and said, we want more money for this one. And the the um, the guy who was in charge in the office, whose name I don't remember, said, he, he's, he, he'd said, he'd come down and talk to the lads. He came down to the docks. He said, I'll tell you what, you take the tiger out of its cage and bring it up to Dublin Zoo and I'll give you the extra money. <laughs> of course, they didn't get the extra money. <laughs> so I thought it was a very clever and probably very appropriate way for the, for that boss man to handle it. He knew he knew who he's dealing with, you know, and he, he was he was going to play their own game. And then there is, of course, a, a well-known photograph of an elephant being lifted off one of the ships also going to the zoo as well. So I said, literally, everything that came in and out of the country came through Dublin Port. It was very important. <laughs>